All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. We're going to wrap this thing up right here pretty quick. Let's see what we can do with this. A couple things we want to jump out at us. We've got to straighten up our hay bale a little bit. We'll grab some uh, just raw lumber. You know, that's kind of a hay color. You can see it in there, the strokes. In the hay, if you look at hay bale, it's not all one mass, it's just it's kind of chopped up. Put just a touch of white in with that. See, that's really going to give us a kind of a hay bale color there. That kind of look more like a hay bale color. Mm -hmm. Let's cut those strokes in there and it's kind of loose. There we go. See that hay, that straw grows out of every angle, every, every, every different way. So cut it in. A little bit on top up there between them leaves that are sitting up there. So we're just trying to make that hay bale look a little bit more like a hay bale. Let's see that white in there back here at that back edge. Right there. Right this other edge here. Now one thing you're going to find out about plain air painting, and the reason we call it plain air is because we're out in the air. Uh, the sun has been moving all day. Well, guess what? The shadows in this painting just have been moving all day too. We had the dark side here. Now the dark side's here. It moved on us. Sun moved on us. But that's all right too. While I've got that, I've got some white. I'm going to grab a little bit of this sap green here. Pull into that color. Just because I got that color there, I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to use it. Add some white to it. Gives me a real light green. Real light green. Well, look on those trees out there. And we, we've lost them all now, but there was a few leaves right out here at the front. And that's what, see, they were reaching out towards us. And that's what made them jump out here to the front, see. Was, they were growing out, growing out our way. They were coming towards us. So don't be afraid to a little bit there. And then we had that over here. There was some light limbs, light leaves out there. And that makes it kind of like they were stepping out here in our direction. Uh, in fact, we'll cut a few of these little light strokes on the ground. And just not be afraid to get some of that in there. That's up here in this foreground. Cover this canvas good. I like that light green. That's not a bad looking light green. So guys, you can you can really do this. You can get to picking, picking, picking. Let's see here. Clean my brush a little bit. I'll use the edge of my canvas for that. Oh, where do I want to go with this? Work on my hay belt just a little bit more. I'll grab some more. That yellow ochre, a little more white. Put a little bit of yellow in it. I just want a good light straw color. That's all I want. Good light straw color. There. Right there's the edge of it. This, see that straw kind of, it's not just, just see how it moves. I mean, it's just, that's, just, that's the hay bale. Uh, so we got that hay bale just sitting out here in the front yard. There's that back edge, the reflected light back there, a little bit up here on top. Help define the edges of that. So my little clean the brush real quick. Grab some of my ultramarine blue. Some burnt umber. Mix those two together. Just give me a good dark. Help get this shadow side back in there again. Don't want to lose that shadow on that hay bale. Cut a little bit of strokes into there. Lose it. Gotta have that shadow side. You always gotta have a shadow side. Mix those colors together, just keep that dark. And cast our shadow a little bit, do it with chop, choppy strokes. Or sitting on the ground, maybe a few grass strokes coming up on the side of that hay bale a little bit. Just cut it in. Strokes up in the bale. On top. And what we need on top of that is a few light leaves just sitting up there. Need to clean my stroke and brush a little bit. Get back into my yellows. Grab some caddy mill white. Grab some. That's a good leaf color right there. 
some burnt sienna, that cat, that cadmium yellow light. Put a couple of leaves that might be sitting up here on top of this that fell off the tree. A couple down here at the base. Is it, isn't this what painting's all about? Try things that work. Find out what don't. Once you find out what don't work, don't do it. <laughs> That's pretty simple stuff. Carry some of that, I like that color. I'm gonna carry a little bit of that up to the tree. Look where there might be some of those lights coming up out of the tree there. Carry some of that up there. That's just a neat looking little color for this tree. There's some of it cut in everywhere. My lights and my darks. Some of it out there. As I love to paint. I tell you what, I could sit here and pick this apart. I could glaze it and start all over again with the different colors. But I don't think for a day's painting, an afternoon, sitting out here in the front yard, there's a whole lot more we need to do this. We're going to sign it and go home. Y'all come.